Well, when it comes to producing Star Wars type weapons and defence contracting, we usually think of multinational corporations and multi billion dollar budgets. But as John Mort discovered, there's a small but talented outfit right here in Perth that's giving players a run for their money and doing it from a shed out in the suburbs. Now this has to be the ultimate in video games. I can see the letter C up here. That's right, this is Area C. We don't advertise it too much, but what we have in here are planes. We have jet planes that go 400 knots. We have jet helicopters. We have airplanes that go 20,000 feet and can watch your backyard, see what you're doing. <laughs> What's happening here will absolutely blow your mind. Right here in the southern suburbs of Perth, there's a defence industry that's been beavering away. Not that they make a big song and dance about it, though. In fact, it's fair to say that they're quiet achievers. But the top brass from our military know exactly what's happening here, and so do armies from other countries. And they're all beating a path to the door. Whoa, tiger! <laughs> Quad rotor, it flies like a helicopter, has a camera on the end, it's very quiet, and it can go anywhere, you can imagine. Tom Pado is excited. In fact, this kangaroo yank who's now Dinky Die is a very excitable boy. And he's passionate about helping build a world-class high-tech defence industry in Perth. Now, I imagine when military people see these sorts of things, they get, well, quite excited. They are very excited. In <laughs> fact, I'd love to tell you exactly how excited they are. Yeah. But uh, they just come up with all kinds of ideas that we haven't even heard of yet. And uh, this is the thing they've been waiting for. This is the new high-tech device, uh, the surveillance device that they're really keen on. And all this has been done in this big shed. That's what we do here, yeah. <laughs> we make really big toys, I guess, that uh, work for a very good application. This outfit, called Cyber Technology, really lives up to its name. These blokes are building unmanned aircraft, drones for military and civilian use. Travelling at more than 400 kilometres an hour, this one can be fitted with a camera for remote-controlled spy work, or it can loose off a missile, just like this. What are they doing in that? Yep, that's working well. All right. Tom's been building remotely operated vehicles, roves, for undersea work for decades, servicing the offshore oil and gas industry. Again, some amazing technology. And nearly all of it designed and built by Tom's team of engineers and, well, nerds, I guess. This here is an underwater robot that goes down to 3,000 metres. And in doing that, it works on oil fields, assembles them, it uses uh, these robot arms. And that's, um, that looks eerily familiar. If it is eerily familiar, it is, because uh, an arm exactly like this was inside the uh, Jurassic Park movie, inside one of the raptors. And if okay. you can uh, see when it moves around and that, it has a very human-like quality. It sure does. It is, it actually looks like it's alive. The reason it looks like it's alive is because all the functions work at the same time. And so really all the people who were producing Jurassic Park had to do was to put a, a shell rubber, over the top of it. A rubber coating on the top. With the eyes in that, and then this went and did the job. Wow. And that wow factor is important when you're competing against some big players internationally. Over the years, there have been a lot of great ideas, great innovation and great technology that's been dreamed up by Australians that unfortunately has been lost to overseas. And that's because it can be really hard for people with great ideas here to get the commercial backing they need to make them happen. In other words, to get the bucks. A lot of times you have um, scientists that do work, but they don't know how to do business. And you have business people, of course, that know business but don't know a lot about science. And then you have the financiers. And if you can get all those people together, the businessman with the scientists and the money, then you got something. 
So what's your secret? What, what is needed to make this work? We're very small. Few of us get together and say, that's the product they need. And so we go and build it. And then we call them in. We say, what do you think of this? And they go, so that's what we've been looking for. How did you know that? It looked like it was Morty who was in seventh heaven there. And you can find more about that story on our Perth ACA website.